Hi, my name is Andy Elliott. I'm going to show you the typical mistake, which is ne salesman negotiating down. This is a point where someone says the payment's going to be too high. I'm going to show you how it's going on in your store right now, more than likely, and I'm also going to show you how we can change it and collect all the money, which is going to skyrocket grosses through the roof. So basically what we have here, a customer's trading an 08 Chevy Trailblazer. 90,000 miles are currently paying 300 a month. They're buying a 2013 Chevy Cruiser 25,000 miles. The manager has put out a proposal at $599 a month. Now, $599 a month is where we make all the money. We do not want to negotiate down. So basically what happens, this is what you're seeing now. This is what your salesmen are doing. $599, uh, great news, sign here, let me get your new car cleaned up. There's no way we can pay more than $400. Okay, guys, well, the payment's $599, could you meet me in the middle? No, I can't. So the salesman writes the $400 down, and he says, could you do $400, maybe up to $450, no more than? And then what happens is they go through this little cycle of reward yourself, your wife's worth it, saying things that don't really make sense to just try to get more money. And I'm going to show you this. They end up with a $425 a month commitment, and they go back to the desk. That's not $599. That's not collecting all the money. I'm going to show you how to do it right here. This is a tactic I'm going to teach everyone in your store. $599 a month, sign here. Customer says, there's no way I can afford more than $400. I understand. Write it down. And you're currently paying $300. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so you can afford $400. You're currently paying $300. That shows me you can afford about $100 more for your new car. I'm always going to flip the paper over. This is me negotiating on the back side of my sheet of paper, which is really not negotiating. Mr. Customer, just to let you know that I was listening to you, I'm going to write $100 more on budget. That's how much you just told me you can afford more for a new car. This is your old car. This is your new vehicle. Now, currently in your old car, you're paying $300 a month. Your new car is costing you $599. Now, I want to ask you this real quick, Mr. Customer. Currently, how much do you spend a week driving? Uh, how much do you spend a week in gas driving your old vehicle? Um, Andy, I spend about $75 a week. Now, remember, in a seated position, we write everything down. So this is what your salesman will be doing on the back side of the sheet of paper. $75 a week in gas. There's four weeks in a month, roughly. So that shows us that $300 a month is how much it's costing, roughly, to drive your old vehicle currently for gas. Now, I'm also going to add in the $300 payment that you currently paid at the bank. And it shows me that if I add the $300 gas and the $300 payment, $600 a month is how much it's costing you to drive your own vehicle. Now, let me show you just perspectively so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm taking them from, they're paying 300, they think they can go to 400, and they're looking at the 599, and it seems like they're going up in money. They're not. That's why this is called money justification. Be deadly on every pencil. They're currently paying 600 a month to own their old vehicle between gas and payment. Now watch how my new car goes. With your, with your new vehicle, Mr. Customer, you're spending $75 a week in gas to drive your 08 Chevy Trailblazer buying a Chevy Cruze. Better gas mileage, less money spent. We're going to cut that gas in half. So, 75 a week is going to go to 35 a week and gas on your new vehicle. Now there's four weeks in a month, just like we did over here, and that shows me that roughly $140 a month in gas is how much you're gonna be spending for your new car. Now I'm also gonna bring down the $599 payment, and just like we added up on your old car, I'm gonna add up the total budget between gas and payment for the new vehicle. And that shows me that roughly $739 a month is how much it's gonna to cost to own your new vehicle, total budget. So if I take the $739, that the new car costs to own, and I take the 600 that you're paying now, basically, this new vehicle is only $139 more out of the bank. That's all it's basically costing them more. Now, when you came in here, you said you could afford $100 more comfortably for a new vehicle. So if I take the $139 more that the new vehicle is going to cost, take away the $100 more you said you could afford more for a new car, it basically shows me this vehicle is only $39 more than what you're prepared to pay. And it's really not that. Let me explain why. The fact that your old vehicle has no warranty, basically, the national average what it costs to maintain a car that's currently out of warranty is $1,200 a year. Now listen, that could be $600 in February on a car with no warranty, you go 10 months, don't spend any money, and then you spend $600 in December, well, $600, $600 still is $1,200 for the year. If you divide that, since we're talking about budget, $1,200 a month into a small maintenance payment, $100 a month is roughly what they're going to have to budget and set aside for a vehicle that's currently out of warranty. That $100 is nothing when I look at the $39 more this new vehicle is going to cost. I'm actually saving them $61 as long as I can show you that your new car has a full warranty. With a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty on a Chevrolet, the national average to maintain a vehicle that's under a, cool, uh, a full warranty is zero. So you have a zero ownership cost on your new car, which means peace of mind and protection. If anything breaks, it's going to, pay, it's going to be paid for. You don't have the ownership cost like you had on your old car. Not only mentioning the fact when we saved on gas, when gas goes to $5 a gallon on your new vehicle, 
it'll make complete sense to trade, it'll be super affordable, and you'll get paid back at the pump where your old car would cost you more. So sign here, Mr. Customer, and we get your new car cleaned up for you.